Welcome back. My next guest is an artist and an activist who became famous for his Obama Hope poster. Please welcome Shepard Ferry. I get to hug you because we're from the same hometown. Charleston, South Carolina. Exactly. Grew up right on the corner from each other. South Battery? Part of the time. I upgraded. <laughs> okay, East Battery. East yeah. Battery. Um, well, let's see. Let's uh, educate the people a little bit who may not know everything they need to know about Shepard Ferry. Uh, you first made an impression in the uh, street art scene with your famous Obey icon. Andre the Giant says Obey. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And then you rose to international prominence with your Obama Hope poster from 2008. Right. Unexpected. Unexpected. Is yeah. there anything uh, that these two posters have in common? <laughs> uh, they're yes. both leaders. Well, they're, you know, they're both about putting across my philosophy, which the obey is getting people to question obedience. Uh, and, you know, in, in a sense, it's, uh, it's antagonistic, it's provocative. The, the Obama was uh, after a very dark period of, of the Bush years and a lot of cynicism. It was a genuinely optimistic gesture, very sincere. And do you feel, still feel optimistic about the president? Blocking the Keystone Pipeline was something that I'm very proud of him doing. <laughs> Well, but, but that's a complicated question. <laughs> it's a complicated question. Okay. Well, uh, you make some complicated art, and you have a new book of art you've done since 2008. It's called Covert to Overt. Yeah. What, what do you mean, covert to overt? Uh, when were you covert? Well, pretty much my, um, my, my whole career was built upon bringing art to people in the streets where they live, not going to galleries or museums or other very narrow elitist places, but to put art where people live. Because I think, you know, art has an incredible potential to affect people emotionally and intellectually and create conversations. So the way that music works, things like Johnny Cash, Public Enemy, Bob Marley, The Clash, I, I think visual art should do more of that. It should, it should affect people viscerally and be very democratic and accessible. So I was underground doing things on the street because you can get in trouble for doing things on the street. And, um, and, and you like getting in trouble? I don't like getting in trouble. I like- You've gotten in trouble a lot. I have, I have. <laughs> <laughs> I Not everybody goes to jail for their art. Well, I have a, maybe a higher level of commitment than a lot of people do. Um, but what, what I believe is really important is finding any means that you can to connect with people. And there, there were no opportunities provided for me, so I had to create my own opportunities. But now, I, I utilize what I call the inside-outside strategy. For years, I, I was an outsider. Now, because I had the courage to put my work out there, um, a lot of people have offered me ways to do things with multiple platforms, and I've, in a sense, infiltrated the system. And, and, and sometimes people think that that means you'll compromise, but I actually think if you're shrewd, you can use the machinery in a way that is not compromised, has integrity, and yet reaches more people. That's why I'm here. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to the machine. <laughs>